short head of the biceps femoris. It is an interesting and important muscle. It is innervated by the common perineal nerve, which is a branch of the sciatic nerve. The long head of the biceps femoris is innervated by the posterior tibial branch of the sciatic nerve. The long head of the biceps femoris arises from the upper and medial part of the back of the ischial tuberosity. The short head is not a part of the hamstring since it does not originate from the ischial tuberosity. It functions only on the knee. It arises from the femoral shaft from the middle third of the linea aspera lateral to the supracondylar ridge of the femur. Insertion it joins with the long head of the biceps femoris in the distal thigh and it inserts at the femoral head. It is the most posterior structure inserted on the femoral head. Both heads of the biceps femoris are inserted into the head of the fibula along with the lateral collateral ligament and the popliteofibular ligament. This is the arrangement of the structures attached at the femoral head from anterior to posterior. Lateral collateral ligament is anteriorly and the biceps femoris is the most posterior structure in the femoral head. Just be aware that the common perineal nerve lies posterior to the biceps femoris. So why this muscle is important? because a high sciatic nerve lesion can mimic a common perineal nerve injury at the fibular head. In both conditions, the patient will have foot drop, but the EMG will show abnormalities in the short head of the biceps femoris muscle if the lesion is a high sciatic nerve palsy. So the lesion will not be from an injury to the common perineal nerve at the fibular head. The lesion will be from an injury to the sciatic nerve because there are some EMG changes in the short head of the biceps. So the short head of the biceps changes in the EMG will differentiate between a high lesion that will affect this muscle and low lesion at the fibular head that will not affect this muscle. When you look at the sciatic nerve, the perineal division will give innervation to the short head of the biceps. The tibial division will give the long head of the biceps and the other hamstrings muscle. How about action of the short head of the biceps femoris? It flexes the knee joint and laterally rotates the knee, which is external rotation. And the nerve, of course, is the common perineal nerve, which is L5-S1. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.